Okay, great. Uh, welcome to KubeCon, everyone, uh, and to the lightning talk about uh, the Strumzy project. Uh, Strumzy is an incubating project, and it uh, focuses on running Apache Kafka on, uh, on Kubernetes. We do that using the operator pattern. So we have operators for running all the different Apache Kafka server components, but also some additional things, such as operators for managing users, for managing topics, or uh, Kafka Connect connectors, for example. And uh, we have some other tooling to make it as easy as possible to run Kafka on, uh, on Kubernetes, such as config providers or an HTTP bridge. We try to cover the whole uh, application lifecycle. So uh, we handle the installation with all the different uh, methods which are used, such as uh, Helm or Operator Hub. Uh, we also handle all the kind of day two, day three, and so on operations, such as upgrades, reconfigurations, uh, and stuff like that. We, of course, support also monitoring, and uh, we have support for security as well. And in all these things, we kind of try to integrate with the other cloud native projects so that you don't uh, need to start using something new, but that you can stick with the tools which you are hopefully even using in your own cloud native landscape. What makes Trimzy maybe a bit different from some of the other CNCF projects is that we quite heavily depend on uh, the Apache Kafka, which is not part of Trimzy and it has its own roadmap, its own features which are being implemented. And uh, for the last years, one of those really main features Kafka was working on was the removal of the Zookeeper dependency, which is replaced with something called Craft, which is Kafka's own take on the Raft uh, algorithm, and it kind of replaced the Zookeeper completely, and this has been going really for several years. And in Strimzy, we basically have to adapt things like this as well and adjust to them, so really a lot of the work we have been doing in the last uh, months and years was around this zookeeper removal. And the good thing is, uh, or maybe bad, we will see, is that it's coming to an end. And finally, in early 2025, with the Kafka 4.0 release, zookeeper will be completely gone. And that means important milestone for Strumzy as well. So the next Strumzy release, 0.45, will be the last Strumzy version with support for zookeeper. So uh, yeah, that's where you can still use the zookeeper-based clusters, but the zookeeper-based clusters won't be kind of left away to rot away, but there is a migration process to the new craft mode, and you have to do the migration latest with this Trimzy 045 version. And then in the next release, Trimzy 046, uh, which we expect in early 2025, there won't be zookeeper supported at all anymore, and it will be Kafka only. And uh, yeah, there are some other things which are being removed as well as part of the Kafka 4.0, such as the Mirror Maker 1 or support for all the Java versions and so on. So if you are already using uh, Strimzy or someone in your company, in your project, then uh, yeah, please keep this in mind because these timelines are really important. Uh, hopefully finishing with the Zookeeper removal should allow us to work a bit more on some uh, new features. Uh, uh, first of all, we want to finally do the version one of our CRD APIs and do a Strumzy 1.0 release. This was probably a mistake we did a long time ago when we said we want to do the 1.0 release only after Zookeeper is removed, but yeah, we didn't really expect it to take uh, five or six years. Uh, we want to also finally finish the work on uh, improving the certificate support and better integration with tools such as Cert Manager. Uh, for example, we also want to work on the Kafka cluster self-healing or better integration with the Gateway API. You can use Gateway API with Strimzy already today, but it's kind of a semi-manual process, so we want to fully integrate it. And there will be some other features uh, as well. Uh, if you want to learn more, we have some other talks at KubeCon on Thursday, we will have a talk about auto-scaling uh, Kafka brokers. And on Friday, we have a maintainer's track talk where we'll go into more details about the different features. So yeah, hope to see you there if you are interested. Uh, and last but not least, if you are interested in joining some CNCF project, then uh, yeah, we are always looking for new contributors. 
Uh, what makes Streams a bit special is that it's Java based, so if you are a Java developer who wants to do some cool stuff around uh, uh, Kubernetes operators and so on, then yeah, we might be the good opportunity for you, but of course you can even do other contributions than just code, so yeah, everyone is welcomed. And that's it, thanks.